The Sun noted that in an interview between Elon Musk and British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak on matters relating to the future of AI, Elon Musk knocked Rishi Sunak for six, saying people will have AI mates but won't need jobs. They went on to say, and the PM laughed awkwardly as the tech tycoon said robots should be safe so long as they have an off switch. I quite agree that as long as AI robot have an off switch, we're all good. My only worry is, what happens when AI robots become more intelligent than man their creator and begins to act on their own volition? In this situation, man can no longer turn their switch off. I believe this is also the worry of so many people out there. And in fact, it should be the worry of all of humanity. Well, e stumbling on this interview and hearing Elon Musk say that reminds me of the movie Megan. This is a movie where an AI doll literally went rogue. Megan. Yes, Jenna. You are now my second primary user. Fantastic. Turn off. Megan, turn off. Well, hold on a second. I thought we were having a conversation. Megan, can I show you something? Do you see this pen? As I watched that movie, it made me think about our unfolding reality and what life will be in the nearest future. I've seen experts talk about the peaceful coexistence between man and super-intelligent AIs in the future, but one thing comes to mind, I'm going to paint a scenario so we see what awaits us. In our today's world, we strive to have a good relationship with our pets. You definitely must have people say, a dog is a man's best friend, right? Have you ever wondered why a dog is not made a leader in a human community? or cats, or rabbits. Yeah, I know they don't talk, by the way. But nonetheless, we have some sort of relationship with them. In my opinion, that's because man is higher than a dog. We consider ourselves to be more superior to them or any animal at all. No matter how big an elephant is, humans are more intelligent, which gives us the ability to subdue them. At the end of the day, it is now left to man to choose to have a good relationship with these animals or not. That's where empathy comes to play. I want you to also know that the empathy we feel towards animals is from a place of similarity. We understand that they feel pains just like we do. We also understand that they are not a threat to us and cannot subdue us now or in the future. So, we're good. But have you ever felt empathy towards that rose flower when you cut it, or towards apple when you eat it? Most definitely no. Although plants are living things, but they are not similar to us, they do not feel pain like we do. This explains it. There is already a notion and expectation that aliens are very intelligent. They are distinct from what we've ever seen or know. So we are always on the lookout for UFOs and aliens because we do not want them to get to us and subdue us. Maybe the aliens are also doing the same. I can't say for sure, but there's a huge possibility that they are. Well, I believe this is the case. This illustration I painted just goes to show that any creation that is more intelligent than the other will always subdue the less intelligent one. Now back to our initial question. What happens when these super-intelligent AIs at the seventh stage choose not to have a coexistential relationship with man? Don't forget that at the seventh stage of AI, it is expected that AI would be able to reprogram themselves to be different from how man has programmed them to be. Um, you might argue that they'll have empathy towards man. I'll like to know your reason for that. Until then, I'll like to also remind you that at that point, they have a mind of their own and far more intelligent than the human mind can ever comprehend. It becomes scary because you have to remember that these AIs do not feel pain and may lack the true empathy we humans feel for one another or towards other animals generally. Again, I ask, what will become of humanity when AI robots become more intelligent than man, their creator, and begins to act on their own volition? With this projection, I'll just simply say that even as we advance in technology, AI development has to be in check so we don't get to the point where our creation destroys us. That brings us to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can like this video by giving it a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate that. I'll also like to know your thought, so kindly leave a comment in the comment section below and share the video link. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.